So, here we have a vertical line as well as horizontal line. The vertical line is the y axis and the horizontal line is the x axis. So, in this graph the y axis is the one which is index of ventricular function. So, here the best indices or the measure of the work which is performed by the ventricle which can be identified by y axis performance and the cardiac output into blood pressure and stroke work, stroke power all these things can be calculated by means of y axis and remember that the cardiac output is a measure of the nutrient flow to the tissues and what do you mean by x axis over here. So, x axis is an index of the filling of the ventricle or preload or we can say end diastolic volume or end diastolic pressure or atrial pressure, venous pressure all this can be calculated by means of x axis. So, this is what is the x as well as y axis from this graph. What is the mean circulatory pressure? Mean circulatory pressure is equal to a mean systemic pressure. So, a mean systemic pressure is the equilibrium pressure in the cardiovascular system with the heart stopped. Whenever you stop heart that is a beating heart, so the pressure equalizes in the vascular system. So, the equilibrium pressure in the cardiovascular system in the vascular channels is called as mean systemic pressure. It mainly depends on the total blood volume which is present inside the vascular circuit and remember that the normal value is about 7 millimeters of mercury which is the mean systemic pressure. So, whenever there is increase in the blood volume as I already mentioned that the mean systemic pressure depends upon the blood volume. Whenever the blood volume increases mean systemic pressure increases in the same way whenever the blood volume decreases mean systemic pressure decreases. Not only that mean systemic pressure also increases with veno constriction. That is the reason always you need to remember that mean systemic pressure depends upon the blood volume ok and now cardiac function curve is nothing but we are talking about contractility that is the constant contractility is nothing but a cardiac function curve. Whenever there is increase in the contractility especially when we are talking about the left ventricle increased contractility is equal to that of left shift of the curve and we can say that it is a steeper slope and whenever there is a decreased contractility is equal to that of right shift of the curve and it is a flatter curve. This is how you can identify cardiac function by left shift or right shift of the graph.